standing. Here's the uh, release by the Patriots today. Quote, on Saturday, Cam Newton traveled to a club approved medical appointment that required him to leave the New England area. He received daily COVID tests, which were all negative due to a misunderstanding about the tests conducted away from the NFL facilities. And as required by the NFL, NFLPA protocols, Cam will be subject to a five-day entry cadence process before returning to the facility. Cam will continue to participate virtually in team activities and return to the club facility on uh, Thursday, August 26th. So I guess we just got our answer there. I got got a lot out of that, just that statement and what has come out after it. Uh, But I'll throw it over to you, Ray, your initial thoughts and uh, um, reaction to COVID Cam returning. What an idiot. What an idiot. You have the starting job. You just pretty much lost it because Mac is now here. He's getting first team reps. Yeah, I didn't look good, but I mean, you're going to be going through walkthroughs. If he impresses the Giants game, you just lost your fucking job. Uh, the whole uh, entrapment thing. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's all in the rule book. It's all in the handbook. I'm sure Bill gave it out first day of training camp being like, here's the COVID protocols. If you leave, if you leave the region, you have to go through all these uh, COVID tests and the NFL PA and NFL have to know about it. I just feel like this guy's fucked up too many times. It happened last year. It cost us a few games and he didn't look right afterwards after getting COVID. So this is all on him. This is all on cam. And I think it's uh, as a leader of this team, it's a bad look and a black eye for him uh, coming forward. Nope. He'll be back Thursday. And if it's club approved, what are you going to do? I mean, the club approved it. If the, if you didn't think it was against the rules, I mean, if you thought it was against the rules, you're not letting him go. I, I don't the one thing I don't understand I think you alluded to it in our text change like why you got to leave New England area you got some of the best doctors in the world here to go to a medical appointment unless it was one of his kids you know that that would be my only logical guess going down to see one of his kids something happened down there he had to go to a medical appointment down there you know until you really find out I'll give him the least benefit of the doubt I don't think he lost a job he's coming back Thursday God he's coming back it. fucking Thursday he was not team I don't Kyrie was, and team Cam I hate you no I just I just still think it's the fucking the way it's going and bill alluded to it today on the radio he said he yeah, didn't allude to anything he didn't until say someone's word. better than cam cam's basically our guy is what he said but it's he didn't, cam, say, cam's he didn't our, let anyone know during any until of someone plays better until let. someone plays better due to cam starting week one this i don't think this has any effect on it it's not like he's missing two three weeks of training camp he's going to miss a game that he probably wasn't going to play anyways i can't tell you how much i disagree with your take bill yes cool. This, yes, this is unconscionably ridiculously fucking stupid. You are on the last and the very last thread of your career, Cam Newton. And and you, you're going to miss a week of practice. I Now, I will agree with you with this bill that I don't think that it's going to cost him his job, but I think it should. And I don't know what that fucking witch doctor voodoo is going on in Foxborough with Bill Belichick and Cam Newton, but what kind of dirt he has on Bill Belichick and why this guy still remains their quarterback. And Conspiracies I, for losers, bro. Whatever. Fine. Fucking I'm a loser uh, then because I something is going on. There's only there's that's the only reason I'll get it in a second, Ray. That other than that, this is uh, this is un uh, you you can't get away with this. You're fi- first of all, you're fighting for your job, and you you don't you leave the area for medical bullshit. He didn't leave for medical purposes. That's a fucking lie. It's a fucking lie. You know what else is a lie? Misunderstanding. The only time anybody has ever used misunderstanding is when they're lying and they don't have something better to come up with. That's it. It's a fucking vague word that you throw in there because you can't tell the truth, but you don't know what else to say. This whole, that whole press release by the Patriots was bullshit. All their coaching staff did interviews over the weekend. No one said a fucking word, and they knew about it the whole time. Ben Volan came out and said Camp thought he could get away with it and he would be able to come back on Tuesday, which would still miss practice on Monday. So he voluntarily fucking left, knew that he wasn't going to be able to practice at least Wednesday. So either they knew the rules and Cam didn't give a shit, or they didn't know the rules and they fucked up. And by they, it's I think it's Cam. But either way, Bill Belichick and the Patriots are fucking covering up for him. They're covering up for him, and I don't know why, and I don't know why, especially when you have the 15th overall pick who's looked just as good, if not better than Cam Newton in these games. After a year, Cam Newton couldn't barely throw for 69 yards. Nice. Give me a fucking break with this guy. It's over. It should be over. I know it's not. I get it, and the only only reason 
that it would be okay that it's not over is if Bill Belichick wants Mac Jones, but he knows he's not ready. He doesn't want to throw him up against Brady and he's just going to uh, send Cam Newton to the lambs or to the lions in those first four weeks and see what the team can come up with. But beyond that, the guy's unvaccinated. The guy doesn't give a shit. The guy's not following protocols. He's going to be a liability as your fucking starting quarterback for the entire year. You can't rely on him. Never mind that he sucks. He fucking blows on the field. Anybody who has any any type of no, he, you get no benefit of the doubt, Cam Newton. None, zero, none. Not what an if this ounce. happens week four. What happened is this, this is week four, and he has to go see his kids or something like Bill saying. And you have oh, to it's the a game. And now you're feeding preseason. But it he doesn't matter. Sucks, he dude. doesn't matter. He's dude. fighting oh, for his God. job. He He's doesn't matter as much as I have. And Bill Re- he has the job. As much as I fucking want Cam Newton gone, he has the goddamn job. He's starting fucking week one and then says no implications on that. He's missing fucking four days of practice. He'll be back on Thursday. That's ridiculous. Ooh, you missed the fucking Giants game. Who cares? It could be a fucking injury. Because you He's said this is the biggest dress one. rehearsal. This is the dress rehearsal. Says who? You've been saying this all along for the preseason. I, you said if it was a indication, yes, but they played the- – Mac, never mind. I'm not. Never. Oh, no, that's wrong. Where you were gonna go? With I don't. That is I do not. I. I don't. You're talking about cutting him now because he fucking missed four days of practice. Who gives a shit? Of course they're not. The Patriots never release if uh, fucking medical information. So why would they have to bring it up? What Boom. are you talking about? Never release medical information. What it's fucking preseason. Uh, you're talking about them covering up. You're saying all the Zoom interviews. They all fucking knew about it. They didn't say shit about it. They are covering up. He left. I don't for, think so. He left. I don't th- the team's not going to med- cover him up. That's just he left him. for a medical. No, they're not. This is my point. This is what I'm angry about. That they're not. Read the. It's a lie. And they let him go. No, you're like the They let him lies. fucking. Then they let him go. No, they wouldn't. Did you watch last season? He was the he was the worst quarterback in the league, and he started oh. every game he could for the Patriots. I don't. He's know He's going to start every game this year. And I've been saying it since day one. Well, if that's the case, then we'll fucking crush Belichick for it because this is wrong. And he fucked up. Cam Newton fucked up one way or another. He fucked up on this. Read that press release again. It's a lie from from top to bottom. The king of lies, Bill. Read that and tell me that you wouldn't write something like that to cover up for a buddy that 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 you know did something wrong, but you didn't want to get bashed. You know you have to rely on him because for whatever reason, you don't want to start the other guy. So, yes, Cam Newton's going to be back on Thursday and be in week one. Vladdy Doc, fucking congratulations to him. And maybe he knew that, and maybe he did go out there and break protocols knowingly because he knows he has the job for whatever bullshit reason. You think that's okay? Fuck that guy. You want that guy as your starting quarterback? You think Devin McCourty is going to be cool with that guy as a starting quarterback? No, I quarterback? don't want him as my starting quarterback. That's numbered, for sure. God damn it. Numbered. Mm. We'll talk to Bill because clearly not. We'll see. We will see this week. We'll I see. hope so. I would love to see Mac Jones have a job. I just don't think it's fucking happening. I don't think in Bill's eyes, Mac's ready. What do you think, Ray? What do you think? It, uh, what do you think this week looks like coming up uh, with Mac Jones here? Going to get all the reps. He's going to get everything. He's going to get. Uh, I don't know what it means by can we be back Thursday? Will we be back for practice Thursday? Is there a time limit that he can come back? Will he be in the building? Does he have to pass more tests? I don't know, but either way, we know that in the one joint practice on Wednesday, it's the Mac Jones show. He's getting every single rep. He is, and like we've been saying all along, because there's only three preseason games, this is the dress rehearsal. This is when you're going to see all the stars play into the third quarter. Uh, The guys that aren't going to make the team pretty much, you know, won't see the light of the field. So I think this is Mac Jones' week to really shine. If he can go out there, make a good impression on Bill, and show that he can actually lead this team and have a good practice, obviously today he didn't have it. That was the reports out of practice today that he didn't look too great with the ones. But if he goes out there, looks great. Sunday, playing the Giants, the last preseason game, looks, looks great, has good rapport with starters because you're going to see all of them out there. Uh, then, yeah, it's Max's job to lose. <laughs>